In this video, we will look at the recent AT&T dividend cut. We will try to come up with a new dividend yield of the AT&T. Then we're going to look at potential upside of the merger and the best approach for the merger. Should we buy AT&T stock or Discovery Communication stock? So let's get started. First of all, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do this by pressing the subscribe button. It is absolutely free and you will not miss a single new video about the upcoming merger. It was announced that AT&T will spin off Warner Media, Discovery Communications will merge with Warner Media, forming a new company called Warner Brothers Discovery. The merger completion is scheduled on the second quarter of 2022. AT&T also announced that the new dividend will be $1.1 per share. The current price at the moment of writing the video is 23.87. That implies the dividend yield will be 4.6%, which is much lower than it was before. But that includes the new company. That includes Warner Brothers Discovery. According to AT&T letter to shareholders, if you have 100 shares of AT&T, on the day of the merger completion, you will still own 100 shares of AT&T, and you will also receive the shares of new company, 24 additional shares of Warner Brothers Discovery. Of course, the initial shares of AT&T will trade at a lower price. So, if we return to the dividend yield, if we take 24% from the current price, it will be $18, then the dividend yield will be around 6%. So, on the day of the merger completion, the management said that if you have 100 shares of AT&T, you will still own 100 shares of AT&T with a dividend yield of 6%, and you will also have 24 shares of Warner Brothers Discovery. The management also provided guidance for 2022 that the earnings per share will be around 3.10. From current price, that implies price to earnings of around 7.7. Considering that Verizon is trading at around price to earnings of 10, that implies that the AT&T stock may be undervalued. From the upcoming merger, AT&T will receive $42 billion. According to management, this will help to reduce debt. On every 100 shares of AT&T, the shareholders will receive 24 shares of Warner Brothers Discovery. According to my calculation, the stock may be considerably undervalued. I have made a video where I do this type of calculation. I will link to it in the end. If we take the management estimates of EBITDA of 14 billion, if we apply the multiple of 10, which is on the conservative side, for example, Netflix or Disney are trading at a much higher multiple, we get the enterprise value of 140 billion. If we subtract debt, we get the market cap of 85 billion. We know that Discovery Communications will have 29% of the new company. So if we divide by the number of shares are standing, we get the upside potential of Warner Brothers Discovery of more than 60%. So there is more than 60% upside for the Warner Brothers Discovery stock. Also, what we need to consider is that there are a lot of funds that hold AT&T stock and they are only for the dividend, only for the passive income. So on the day of the merger completion, receiving the shares of the new telecommunication company it is very likely that they will start selling it off. The risk that was outlined in the 10K report of Discovery Communications. So what is the best approach to play out this merger? Should we buy T-Stock or should we buy Discovery Communications stock? I believe it all comes to your preferences. If you want a dividend stock, a dividend stock that will pay around 6%, it will have a payout ratio, according to management, of around 40%. And if you want a piece of telecommunication company, buying T-Stock may be the best approach. But if you only want the shares of the Warner Brothers Discovery, the new company, buying Discovery Communications may be a better approach. Discovery Communications has three types of shares. They have Disk A, Disk A, and Disk B shares. The difference between Disk A and Disk A shares are that these K shares do not have votes, but on the day of the merger completion, all three types of shares will be converted to the new company. So this K is cheaper. I believe the best approach is buying these K shares. Also, in a worst case scenario, if the deal will not go through, if the merger will not go through, and by the way, this risk is outlined in the 10K report, if the merger will not go through, 
Disk A class of shares provides a hedge because there was a large price difference between Disk A and Disk A. Here is the video about the merger of Discovery Communications and Warner Media. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do this by pressing this button. You will not miss a single video. Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you in the next video.